Hey everyone, it's Catherine here from Server Pro, and today we'll be showing you how to add and use markers for the Bluemap plugin. Bluemap allows you to add different markers to your map. You can do this by manually configuring them in your map config. There are five different types of markers that you can use depending on what you need. The POI marker is the most basic marker. It's a simple icon image that can be placed anywhere on the map, and when clicked, it shows its label. HTML markers are used to add any HTML element to the map. This gives you the ability to add a simple text, image, or a button. Line markers are used to draw a line on the map. If you click on that line, it shows the marker's detail. A shape marker is any flat shape or polygon placed somewhere on the map. You can use it to mark areas. If you click on the shape, it also shows the marker's detail. Extrude markers are the same as shape markers, but the shape is extruded between two heights. With this, you can mark areas that are limited to specific Y positions. To add these markers, first go to your server's control panel. Go to Files, then Plugins. Open the Bluemap folder, then open the Maps folder. Select the config file for the map you'd like to add markers to. Scroll down until you see Marker Sets. Here you can see there's a config template for each marker. In order to use them, all you need to do is uncomment the hashtag and adapt them to your purpose. The first marker set shown here is an example for a POI marker. Remove the hashtag before each line in order to activate it. For the first line, this is just the name of the marker set section. You can name it however you like. The same thing goes for the label properties under it for each marker. Next to position, you will need to add the coordinates of the block you want the POI to be placed on. You can check a block's coordinates using your blue map by simply clicking on a block. Next to icon, insert a link for an image that will be used as the marker's icon. The image is not resized, so it should be exactly as big as you want the icon to be on the map. Anchor is the property that anchors your marker in one place. You will need to set the X to the width of the image divided by 2 to center it horizontally and set the Y to the height of the image. Make sure to click on Save File, then restart the server to apply the changes. The next marker set is an HTML marker. Set the position using coordinates to where you want your HTML marker on the map. Next to HTML, you can change properties such as line height, font size, and color, as well as what text you'd like to display. Next, we have line markers. Set the position to the first block you want the line to begin from. Next to line, you have five sets of coordinates. Use your map and add in the coordinates to create your line marker. You can change the line width to make it thicker or thinner. Next to line color, you can add the RGBA color code for whichever color you'd like.
Now we have shape markers. Set the position to the first block you want to begin creating your shape from. Next to shape, just add in the coordinates for each block to create your shape. You can also change the line width. You can use RGBA color codes here as well to change the line color and fill color. Make sure to set the shape Y to the Y position you want your shape to be placed on. And for the last marker, we have extrude markers. Set the position to the first block you want to begin creating the shape from. Next to shape, you also have a set of coordinates to add to create the shape. Under that, we have the minimum Y and maximum Y coordinates for your shape. This determines the Y positions of your marker. You can also change the line width, color, and fill. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more from our channel. If you have any further questions or problems, don't hesitate to contact us. We will leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching.